Hi, my name is Dan, and this is the Valco Basics. Today we're going to continue discussing level switches. The Nivikant R vibrating rod level switch is designed for high and low level indication, granules and powders with a minimum density of 0.0289 ounces per cubic inch. It controls the filling and emptying of tanks, silos and hoppers, and it can send out an alarm signal when necessary. The circuit induces vibration in the probe. When the medium touches the rod, the vibration changes or stops. When the level drops and the medium no longer touches the rod, it starts to vibrate freely again. The electronic senses the change in the vibration and sends out a signal after a predetermined delay. There are numerous options, like an extension rod or an extension cable for the probe, and the output can either be an SPDT or a solid-state relay. The device cover is either aluminum or plastic, and the wetted parts are made of stainless steel. The highest flange temperature is 320 degrees Fahrenheit, and the maximum process pressure is 360 psi. The device has an ATEX variant. The device has a relay and an electronic output. Nivikant R switches are used in agriculture, construction, the chemical industry, food and beverage production, power plants, and the plastic industry. They can be used for limit switching and high or low failsafe switching with powders and free flowing solids. Okay. Nivo switch, vibrating fork level switches are suitable for liquids, granular solids, and powders. The operating principle involves an electronic circuit that keeps a fork probe in an excited state by inducing vibration in it. When the medium touches the fork, the vibration changes or stops. As soon as the medium drops to a level where it no longer touches the fork, the probe starts to vibrate freely again. The unit senses the change in the vibration and sends out a signal after a pre-configured delay. The PMP and PM transistor output versions can be connected directly to a PLC or a relay. Niva switch vibrating forks combined with Unicon PPK switching amplifiers can be used with high current loads. The Unicon PPK 312 8EX intrinsically safe switch unit is designed for EX vibrating forks. The user manual contains various wiring diagrams for different outputs and medium densities. Units with parallel vibrating prongs are ideal for liquids, and units with diverging vibrating prongs are designed to measure solids. The plastic coated version is recommended for aggressive mediums, and the highly polished version is for use with abrasive materials. Niva switch vibrating fork level switches control the filling and emptying of pipes, silos, tanks and hoppers. They can also send failsafe alarm signals to prevent overfilling and dry running. One of the advantages of vibrating forks is that they are self-cleaning under certain circumstances. However, mediums that may stick between or onto the prongs should be avoided. Nivarota rotary pedal level switches detect the level of lumpy substances, powders, grains and granules. A small electric motor drives the pedal, which rotates freely in the absence of the measured material. When the material reaches the pedal, the motor is switched off and the output switch is triggered. When the material level drops, the pedal is free to spin again, the motor is reactivated and the switch returns to its original state. The Niverota E700 and E800 series provide all the advantages of the previous series in one unit. 
DustyX versions are available for use in hazardous environments. The housing of the device is made of plastic or cast aluminum, and the wetted parts are made of stainless steel. The Navarota can be used to detect the level of low-density powders and granular solids. They are simple to install, just like other similar Nivelco devices. There's plenty of accessories that make installing the device easier. The physical properties of the medium determine which pedal is the best for the application. The Nivarod is widely used in the food industry, chemical industry, construction material production, and power generation. It can be used for limit switching and high or low failsafe switching with powders and free-flowing solids like granules and pellets. Nivacap CK capacitive level switches operate as capacitance meters in the radio frequency range, which is less sensitive to material deposits than conventional capacitive devices. The Nivacap CK's electronics continuously evaluates the voltage level proportional to the capacitance difference between the two probes and the housing. The unit senses the capacitance change when the medium touches the probe and triggers the drag contact control switch. Using the reference probe enables the device to ignore large deposits on the probes, preventing false switching. The high temperature and DustX models are suitable for harsh environments, so they are ideal for power generation applications. The units are available only with powder-coated aluminum housing, because one of the measurement reference points is the housing itself. The longest extension rod for probes is 3 meters, while extension cables are available up to 10 meters. The shortest insertion length is 12 inches, the highest process temperature is 430, and the highest ambient temperature is 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Only the lower, metallic parts of the probe can come in contact with liquid mediums. The approximate sensitivity can be set in 4 inches, and it can be fine-tuned with a potentiometer. The Nivacap CK100 is an excellent choice for viscous, sticky substances where vibrational and other contact measurement technologies are not applicable. It is often used in the ash and slag tanks of power plants, but it is also effective in media where adhesion is unavoidable. It can be used for limit switching and higher low failsafe switching with liquids, powders, free-flowing solids and sticky materials. Here are some examples of level switch and level transmitter designs that are best used in common industrial processes, for example in the field of drinking water production, in wastewater treatment processes, and the construction industry. This concludes the quick guide to Nivalco's level switches. Thank you for watching. The presentation was compiled by Laszlo Chomor and we hope it will help you find the right device.